YouTube TV is one of the most popular live TV streaming services out there, and it's arguably the best way to watch sports without cable. But is it right for you? That's the question we're tackling in our new YouTube TV review. It's been a little over a year since we made our last YouTube TV review video, so we've updated to cover the current YouTube TV cost, channel lineup, Cloud Vera settings, simultaneous screens, supported devices, 4K content, Dolby integration, and more. We also briefly touch on the ongoing Roku versus YouTube feud, thankfully it's finally over, and include a few power user tips to help you get the most out of the YouTube TV app. And we'll wrap up with our honest take on this popular option for cord cutters and how it compares to two other popular live TV streaming services, Fubo TV and Hulu Live. All right, let's get started with YouTube TV pricing. At $64.99 a month, YouTube TV has historically been on the higher end of the pricing spectrum for streaming services. YouTube TV last raised its rates to the current price in June of 2020. It's been a while, which means prices could rise in the future, but for now, YouTube TV seems content to focus on adding content options and add-on packages for its subscribers to choose rather than increasing its base price. Yeah, as we mentioned in our YouTube TV 4K edition video, the live TV streaming service offered the option to stream 4K content on unlimited screens for an extra $20 a month. They let users sign up for a year in advance for $10 a month with an understanding that the second year would see the price raised to a total of $85 a month. Now, as we said in that video, we don't think that there's enough 4K content to warrant that kind of price hike. So we recommend sticking with the base plan. Now, YouTube TV lets you try the service free for a week, and at time of filming, it's running a deal where you can get your first month for just $14.99. This deal is for new users only, so if you haven't tried YouTube TV yet, now could be a good time to try it. Now let's move on to the YouTube TV channel lineup. YouTube TV channels number more than 85 of the most popular entertainment, news, and live sports networks. And one of the things you'll notice right away is that your locals are included. You can see exactly which channels you'll get in your area by entering your zip code at tv.youtube.com. Now, when we did that, we saw that we get our local ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC stations, along with Nebraska and Iowa PBS, the CW, and a few Spanish language stations. Not all live TV streaming services include PBS in the local channels they offer, so the fact that YouTube TV does is nice. Now, beyond locals, a glance at YouTube TV channels shows a very good mix of sports, news, lifestyle, and family content. You'll get popular sports stations, including all the ESPN and Fox Sports channels, as well as professional league channels like NFL Network, MLB Network, and NBA TV. You'll also get all the major cable news networks and popular stations like AMC, BET, FX, HGTV, TBS, TNT, and more. Kids will like the Cartoon Network, Disney Junior, Freeform, and the Nickelodeon channels too. Yeah, this variety of content is what makes YouTube TV such a popular choice for those looking to cut the cord on cable. All of these channels are included in one channel package. Unlike other services, and I'm thinking of you, DirecTV Stream, YouTube TV keeps it simple with just one plan and one price. Now there are plenty of networks you can add on, as you can see here. Everything from Acorn to HBO Max to MLB TV, Stars and Showtime can be added for an extra fee. YouTube TV also offers a Sports Plus add-on, which includes 14 additional channels, most notably the NFL Red Zone for an additional $10.99 a month. Yeah, the sports offerings on YouTube are really unmatched, except for those offered by Fubo TV, which has an extremely strong sports lineup, especially for international sports. You can learn more about how YouTube TV and Fubo compare in our video about the two services. But for now, let's move on to more features of YouTube TV, starting with one of its most popular, cloud DVR recording. While many services limit the number of hours you can record with their cloud DVR service, YouTube TV doesn't. Its base package includes unlimited cloud DVR recording capacity. Now, videos will delete after nine months, but if you can't watch it in that amount of time, chances are probably pretty good that you'll never will, so it will likely won't be an issue for most streamers. Yeah, now let's look at the number of screens and accounts you can have with a YouTube TV account, because this is something important to those interested in family sharing. You get the ability to watch TV on three screens at once, and to create six accounts within one YouTube TV subscription. That's more than Hulu's included two and more than Sling Orange's included one. 
Yeah, and the ability to create up to six accounts is helpful for family sharing. So a parent, for example, can be the family manager and can create up to five additional accounts for members of their household. So your family can share one YouTube TV account as long as you all live in the same household. Accounts can't be shared across households, even if you are members of the same family. Creating separate accounts allows you to customize watch lists and enable parental controls on an account-by-account -account basis, which is nice. Yeah, and enabling those controls is pretty simple. You just click Settings and then Filter, and then select the option to only allow access to G-rated content. These settings can be turned on on an account-by-account -account basis, which is also nice. Now moving on, the next feature to cover is supported devices. As one of the most popular and widely used streaming services, YouTube TV is available almost anywhere. As you can see, you can watch YouTube TV through Chromecast, Apple TV, Fire TV, as well as on smart TVs, gaming consoles, devices, smartphones, and computers. Yeah, but there is one important distinction to note here, and that's with Roku. As we covered in our Roku streaming device review, YouTube TV and Roku have been locked in a months-long dispute that had pulled the streaming service off Roku's platform. Thankfully, that is finally over. On December 8th, with just one day left before new Roku users would be blocked from downloading YouTube or accessing YouTube TV, Roku and Google finally reached a deal that will keep both services on the Roku platform for multiple years to come. Yeah, we are most thankful that that is over. Now let's move on to what it's like to use YouTube TV and a few tips that can enhance your experience with it. The first thing that you'll notice after you sign up is that you can choose favorite shows or teams for YouTube TV to automatically record and add to your DVR library. Once you launch the streaming service, you'll be dropped into the homepage. The top row will display top picks for you, which, as you use the service more, will become more customized to things that you tend to like to watch. And you can click right to see more titles, and clicking on any title will bring it up to watch. Like other streaming services, you can explore content by network, show, or category, like movies, sports, news, family, comedy, drama, and more. Scrolling down on the home screen brings up more rows of shows and movies to watch. When you find something you want to record, just click the plus sign next to any title. YouTube TV will add it to your library, which you can access by clicking the library tab at the top of the screen. Also, you can add an entire series to your favorites and visit its page or the network it airs on, or you can remove a title from your guide by clicking on the three dots on the top right of any title. To see and watch recordings, you wanna click on the library tab. As you can see, we don't have much recorded right now, so there aren't a lot of titles here, but as you record more things in your YouTube TV account, this space will grow. Yeah, and here's a pro tip. You can click on anything you've recorded and select which version to view. You will see a little icon that says either VOD or DVR. VOD requires you to sit through commercials and playback, but you can fast forward through commercials on items with the DVR icon next to them. YouTube TV is really pretty simple not just with its prices, but also with its layout. There are just three tabs, including the last one for us to cover, Live. Now clicking on the Live tab brings up a live TV guide, similar to cable, that you can click through to see what's on now, what's coming up, and find things to watch or record. Clicking on any title will bring it up in a large viewing window. And our next pro tip is to show you how you can filter the guide to remove titles you know you'll never watch. To do that, click the Settings tab in the top right of your screen. From there, select the Live Guide option on the left. From here, you will be able to reorder the way channels appear in your Live Guide view. Or, remove channels entirely from your Live Guide custom view. For example, I know that I will never watch the MLB Network, so I'm going to remove it from my custom view. This won't remove the channel from the YouTube TV home view or the default live guide, which includes all channels on YouTube TV, just from my custom view. To see that custom view, just get out of the settings area and click back on the live tab. Then from the drop down on the top right, select custom view. We think all of these features make YouTube TV pretty easy and intuitive to use. Yeah, so now let's wrap up with our take and a quick comparison to two other popular streaming services, FuboTV and Hulu Live. Now overall, we like YouTube TV 
number one, for its ease of use, and it's so easy to understand. If you're looking for a complete cable replacement that offers your local channels and a great selection of popular sports channels, as well as news, family, and lifestyle content, this is going to be a good choice for you. In fact, it's our number one choice for cord cutters looking to replace cable. Yeah, really the places where we see room for YouTube TV to grow in are its 4K content. There's honestly not nearly enough titles to justify that $10 upgrade to get them. Beyond that, if you are interested in other cable-like replacements, you can also check out Hulu Live or Fubo TV, as we said. Now, Fubo TV is going to offer even more sports options than YouTube TV, and its base package starts at $64.99 a month. Hulu Live starts at $69.99 a month, but it does include ESPN Plus and Disney Plus. It has more add-ons and upgrades, and it isn't as straightforward as YouTube TV. Still, it has all of Hulu's original content, which is compelling. We've done review videos comparing YouTube TV with both Fubo TV and Hulu Live, so watch those to see which one is really the best service for you. Yeah, the streaming space can be confusing and feel overwhelming trying to pick the best service for you. If you feel that way, check out our free quiz, which we link to below. In about 30 seconds, you will get a personalized recommendation for the streaming service we think is the best fit for you. Well, that does it for this review. Let us know what you think of YouTube TV. Is it the best live TV streaming option out there, or is something else better in your opinion? And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can get our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.